Hey guys, Jason from Brave Wolf Customs here, coming at you from Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, down here on the beautiful Gulf Coast, and I've got a sale for you. I'm trying to free up some space, and I'm going to do a clearance sale and part with some leftover remaining uh, retired decals that we don't have on our store anymore, and we've got some decals with minor defects or um, you know small blemishes that we're going to let go for a very small fraction of the price and uh, and some other stuff. I'm going to show it all to you now and hopefully you'll see uh, plenty of things that you like and help me get rid of all this stuff. So the first thing I want to show you is these uh, amazing Spirit of the West decals. They were meant for the Scout uh, but they arrived too large for the tank. Now we do have them on the website in the right size for your Scout but these you just want to stick them on a wall or on a truck, or I don't, I don't really care where you stick them at, if you like them. I got two sets, and they're going to be $10 each. All right, let's move on here. Here I've got some, all right, these are some uh, of my, they were called the Wolf at the time, and these were the Dark Wolf. And uh, I guess sitting in storage with some dust in there, they've got some little, kind of like little indention marks on them. So that'd be like, I don't know, $5, maybe a toolbox. Um, these are the brown wolf versions. And I got two sets of those. So, you know, just some pocket change. And uh, next up is a design that <clears throat> It was actually a painting that I did um, and turned it into a tank decal for a Challenger Pursuit. But uh, the design didn't really do well, it didn't sell a lot of them. I'm still sitting on them. And I think they'd be a good fit for like a white Challenger Pursuit if you're into them. They're also going to be $10. I have those in uh, matte finish. <laughs> and I got one set in matte. The rest of them are gloss. So they're colorful. You don't have to put them on your bike if you like them. For, for that price, you can stick them on your garage wall or something. All right, what's next? Let me get these out of the way. All right, these are the Azteca decals for the Challenger or Pursuit. And I don't know if you can see it in the video. They do have some minor indentions or little points in it. Maybe from, like I said earlier, dust. And, uh, so this is like an Aztec Mesoamerican style design with a jaguar, which is important to their culture, and a headdress of pheasant feathers. or some of the um, Aztec symbology in the background. Um, again, $10. You probably won't even probably won't even notice the small defects if you were to use them on your bike. <clears throat> Next I got one set of this one. I called it the Windy War Bonnet. It was actually a, a 2.0 version of the Indian Girl War Bonnet that I first made. And this is for Challenger Pursuit black and white gloss. A few small minor imperfections in the laminate layer. Again, it would look just fine on a bike. Ten bucks. And now I got, I'm actually, I should have said this at first, like the first stack I'm going through are ones that are, I would call them B grade or something because there's, you know, they have a minor issue with them. Um, these are the Odin's Ravens tank decals for Challenger or Pursuit. And this is the white version. And, uh, I don't know, I'd have to take a close look and see. There's a small blemish on there somewhere, it wouldn't be in this pile. But, 10 bucks. And also a bronze version. Same thing, but looks great on a bronze smoke or a black bike. Looks good. I mean, they also look good on a white bike too, but, you know, it's all your preference. And, 
Yeah, I'll take some pictures of all these things. I'll, I'm going to be making a listing of them, uh, special clearance listing, and you'll be able to see uh, in detail what it is that you're buying if you decide to buy a set. This is the Azteca uh, Blood Moon version. That's what I named it with uh, the red accents and some color in the Jaguar. And I've got two sets of those in gloss. Again, $10. <clears throat> Next is a uh, retired saddlebag design that we don't offer on our website anymore. They're in absolute perfect condition. They are for Indian bags and they were specifically made for the new style bags, um, but they will also work on the, uh, the common rounded style. And these are black with a matte finish. This would be, I think I'm listing that at 40 bucks for the set. Next is a B grade set of American flag uh, tank decals for Challenger and Pursuit. This one you probably wouldn't want to put on your bike because uh, um, a speck got caught underneath the laminate layer. I mean, um, you could probably take a little blue paintbrush and dab over it and not see it, but. You know, these would be like five bucks. And uh, next is a, another uh, retired design. These are saddlebag decals, and they were made for the common style Indian bags with the rounded top. Um, it is left and right side, and there are no blemishes on these. It's a perfect set. They're just retired, and we don't, you know sell them anymore, but uh, this would be another $40 set. There's only going to be one, so it'll have its own listing in the clearance uh, when I put it on the website. Uh, this next one is a, let me just stack them all over here, this is a design that I wanted to do and didn't turn out the way I wanted it. It was supposed to be a cyberpunk type design with some you know, neon city lights and uh, you know, kind of like a hot chick on a futuristic bike. Um, after I made them, I, I don't know, I just, I just didn't, never put them on the store. I didn't think anybody would want them, but, you know, $5, you can have them. And next is, I think I have two sets of these that have small blemishes. This would be... Uh, tank decals that are designed for the Thunderstruck models of Indian bikes, but they're more uh, universal, so they'll kind of fit on any bike. And uh, the issue with this one was there's a little bit of scuff on the laminate that might polish out, or you might not even be able to see it. I'm not sure. Just uh, I wouldn't ship it to somebody as a new perfect set. I have two of those, so those will be ten dollars each. And we have a the Indian Scout version in the black lift style gloss. These will be um, what was it? The the rollers that grab the material as it pulls it through the machine left uh, some track marks on this one, so. Some people may never see it, but it is there, and I saw it, so I'm not selling them at full price. That would be 10 bucks. We've got, again, back to the Thunderstruck version. I've had people put these on Indian Challengers and the Pursuits, too. They just, they just don't quite cover up the original headdress completely. Like A little piece of it shows out of the corner, uh, but nobody seems to mind. And with these, I mean, they're gloss, and the reason why they're on sale is because the background material, not the decal, the background material got scratched by uh, staples on the shipping tube, and it actually passed over the decal in, like, I think just that one spot. Um, again, you probably wouldn't ever notice it, so it's a good deal for a $10 set of decals, as opposed to the usual $100 price. Got a red version and gloss. Let's see what's up with these. Um, yep, 
these have a small scratch blemish there. Ten dollars if you like red. Red and black looks good on a black bike or a white bike looks really good on there. And we have two sets of these. Scout version, black lift, it's in matte. Um, so they were, apparently they were set on something that wasn't even at some, at some point, so the back material crinkled a little bit and it shows through on the decal up front, but um, that will probably like iron out flat if you just put an iron on it for a few seconds. Not sure, but it had these uh, little air bubbles in the laminate on the outside of the decal, so they weren't something that I would ship to a customer. It will be $10. More of this design. These are the chrome ones and these will um, probably just be five bucks. They got scratched a little bit here. I think it's a uh, came loose of their wrapping and their shipping tube from a manufacturer and at some point I had put some tape here to like show somebody the size. So tape's not on decal, it's on the side. It's a uh, Probably worth five bucks if you want to throw it on a toolbox or, or truck or whatever. <clears throat> Next is the Meso Chief 3. This is one of my new designs from this year. Uh, actually, these just came in with a recent shipment, but there's a speck that got underneath the laminate between the actual printed vinyl and uh, protective laminate. So, five bucks. got all right so there are two sets of these but one of them is just going to go as a freebie to whoever buys this one um, this is Odin's Ravens universal version uh, fits on pretty much any bike and the reason why they're in here is because the roller trucks that grab the material made a mark uh, the ones on the back however came out of their wrapping during shipping and they're all scuffed up on the bottom one top one's fine so it would be a backup they're just going to go together for probably like seven dollars or something <clears throat> and still going here's another skull war bonnet uh, SWB 729 and it's the black lift for challenger pursuit and this one just had I think just that one little roller track mark Almost invisible. Ten dollars. Getting to the bottom of the pile on these. Uh, okay, so these were Scout tank decals. I have two sets of these like this. This was the Black Wolf um, with you know full color. It's mostly black, but the medicine wheels in color. So is the skin and stuff. And uh, this one, I don't know, it just has, there's two of these, and they just have some of the tiniest little speck marks, like where dust was laying between them when they were stacked. I might iron out, or you might not even see it, but there's two of those, and they'll be $10 each. And this one, I have two of perfect condition. Nothing wrong with them. It's a retired design. Uh, can't get these anymore. Don't sell them in the store. It's my American Skull War Bonnet. And these will be 40 bucks for a set. It's a good opportunity to get a hold of a design that actually didn't make very long either. There was They were only available for a short period of time before I retired the Skull War Bonnet. And I got four sets of these. These were, at one point, my best seller. Um, so it's a retired design, you can't get any more. And they had been stacked on some other things that weren't quite level. So it looks like a ridge in here. Again, would probably just move right out with an iron. There's four sets of them and I'm gonna 
because of that, I'm going to part with them for probably, probably 10 bucks a set. So, jump on that when you see it if you want those, because that's it. And the last, and no, not the last yet. I have one full colored gloss version of the Scout uh, Skull Ward bonnet. And I see a small little roller track mark there. It's probably why it didn't get sold before. And it looks like maybe a speck here. So those will probably go up for $7 or so. <clears throat> this one is uh, another rare decal that I didn't make many of. This was the burnt orange Skull War bonnet and it's gloss. And it has no imperfections. So that's probably be, you know, 30 bucks. Um, the last of its kind. Probably only ever I sold less than less than 10 of those maybe. So they would be unique. I got some beeping going on outside that's not in here. Alright, and this is the last set that I have, I think, of the Nazoni uh, black and white gloss, which is also a retired design. Um, it had a little bend right here that you could iron out or press flat with a heat gun. Uh, nothing wrong with them. Uh, I don't know, maybe 20 bucks or something. The prices are kind of fluid, so I'll try to remember <laughs> what I tell you on the camera. But uh, They'll all go up there with pictures, which is what I'm going to do right after this video, so you can see exactly what it is you're buying if you're interested in them. And before I move on to these perfect condition uh, retired designs, I do have some 3D printed emblems here that I consider them B grade. So my emblems I normally ship are going to be in you know perfect or almost perfect condition before I send them to a customer. But sometimes you get a fault while you're printing, and this one has like a little crack looking thing there still completely stable you can put it on your bike and it's the left side that gets hidden a lot by the belt guard anyway these are for scout by the way um, normally a set's 150 for both sides or 100 if you get just this side but this b grade set which this is fine and this one has a defect it's going to be 50 bucks and it's uh, the last one i have with the male chieftain and uh my 3D printer is currently down for the count, so I can't make any more right now. So jump on these if you want them. And for the the most requested one is the Skull War Bonnet one. Um, I've got three sets of B grades, and that basically means that in some way or another, they have some striations in the printing that. I don't consider to be perfect or they're not meant to be there so these will also sell for 50 bucks for a set so you can see it might be a little more obvious on these it kind of gives it a, um, a distressed wood look like it's been carved out of wood or something so if that doesn't bother you this might be the perfect chance for you to get these cheap and that's how that goes and next, we will get into some really good deals on some retired designs. It's taking up a lot of space in my uh, inventory, and I'm going to price these really good to try to get rid of them. And once they're gone, they're gone, gone. And the first ones we're going to be looking at are going to be the Indian Girl War Bonnet. And this is a color that I called uh, Skystone because it's a turquoise in nature <clears throat> and it's basically just a color variation a, a different color of my um, very first original design that I did that started all of this and, and you'll see that one here soon too but this is sky stone and I've got 15 of them they're going to be ten dollars a set and, and you know these are um, in perfect condition, ready to use, so there's no flaws with them. And I've got only two of these, 
And this is matte finish, and it's called Sunshine. It's a really great color to put on chrome. I mean, a, on a cream or a white. It looks really good. It looks good on black too. Two of those are ten dollars each. This one. This was for everybody who kept asking me for colorful, and so it's aptly named. This is the Indian Girl War Bonnet Vivid, and I have them in matte and gloss finish, and they're going to be ten dollars a set. There are five gloss and three matte left. I've got the next one. Let me just. Next ones here are uh, mango, uh, mostly browns, some cream, and kind of like a like a fall color orange. Again, these are ten dollars a set, and I've got five of them in gloss. That's all there is left of those. Uh, these ones I like a lot. These are uh, a Lady Rebel version. So, if you don't know who Lady Rebel is, you can look her up on Instagram. Um, really awesome Indian writer. And I redid the Indian Girl War Bonnet with her likeness here. Uh, it's got the willow green and cream colors to match because that's the colors of her bike. And I've got three sets of those left. And that'll be uh, 20 bucks because some proceeds from these go to her. Alright, so these are the uh, Indian Girl War Bonnet 2.0. I believe this might have been the second design that I made. And I was basically just revisiting the back portion of the headdress for some people who asked for a little more realism versus the uh, stylistic. And I have three of these in matte and three in gloss. And they're going to be $12. six of the last of them and these grab this make sure I don't miss anything on my on my mistakes. <clears throat> these are the 2.0 in color and these are actually from like 2017, 2018, somewhere around there. And I have 19 of them left in gloss, and they're just going to be $10. Um, again, the last of an era. <laughs> Those are a little bit smaller than the black and white ones I showed you, because um, the color ones weren't originally designed to cover up the uh, headdress on the thing. So, if you need it to cover up a headdress, don't get the color ones. Then, moving along to this. This is the uh, silver ghost version of my Indian Girl War Bonnet. Um, it was kind of like a silver gray version that was highly uh, requested. And there's only two of these left. And got some adhesive on them that you'll have to like wipe off or clean or whatever. These are just five bucks. And then here we are to the original one. Still pretty fond of these. Um, Indian Girl War Bonnet and Cream. The very first design I did and I made it for my Black Scout that I had at the time in 2017 and started off this whole thing with Brave Wolf. I've got 20 of these left, and they are selling at $10 each. So if you want a piece of history, even if you don't put it on your bike, jump on these. And here is a pair of special request decals. Um, they're just like so this is Skull Warbonnet 729, they're just like the big ones for the Thunderstroke. 
uh, except someone asked me to make a smaller version so they could put them on their scout because they didn't want the tank side panel cover. They just wanted, you know, this cutout shape to fit on the scout. So I couldn't have just one set manufactured at a minimum of three. So there's two sets left, and these are going to be 75 bucks. Um, so if you, if you want that look on your scout, these are there's nothing wrong with them. They're perfect shape. 75 bucks. Here is a. I've got one of these, so I'm going to take the sticker off. Again, I had a uh, custom request to change up my Azteca design to be black and white with some red accents. Um, made it for a customer a couple of years ago, I believe it was. And uh, now he's moved on from his design, so I'm making this one available. It's the only one there is, so this won't be a $70 set. Um, a huge savings over what it would have cost you to get a custom color from me. Ezra Gloss. This stack's going to have 10 gloss and 10 matte of this design that we talked about earlier. This is the Black Wolf, and these are in perfect shape. So these are retired decals that don't have any blemishes, and they're available for $10 each. I just got to move them, got to get them out of my inventory. So uh, $10 from you guys is, is better than not get anything at all. Alright, and then there's another color variation, so I gotta move this stack over. Then a Black Wolf dark version. This is without any color. I mean, well, it's a really desaturated color. It's mostly black and white. So there's eight of these in matte and nine in gloss. And uh, that's how they look. These are also gonna be $10. Perfectly good set of decals. You already got something on your bike. You don't want to take it off for these. Put them on your truck. Your car. Alright. See now it's getting harder because these stacks are getting fatter. I have to shuffle through them. Alright, so next is the uh, brown wolf version. I wasn't facing the camera. So the brown wolf version, uh, I'm a fan of. <laughs> it didn't, uh, I didn't sell as many of these as I wanted to because it was. So sometimes I create something that I'm really fond of, that I liked it. I, I don't know. I just really enjoy the process of doing it, and it's not necessarily always the most popular with everyone else. But this design was really fun to. Paint all the little fur. Um, so I enjoyed it, and I hope uh, you guys will too. I've got them in gloss and matte. And I've got 13 mats and, and four gloss on these, and they're going to be 10 bucks for the set. Can't beat that. So.